Well, it's not going to be that great of a video, but I decided to make a quick video just to show my uh, my incubator. It has an automatic egg turner in it. You set the turner to turn when you want it to, at the times you want it to. Uh, automatic temperature control, two fans, and uh, basically um, I want to make a video because I think that a lot of people would love to make this. It's pretty cheap and um, it's pretty easy except for um, that part right there and I mean this is just a prototype I've already used it so it's a working prototype but um, right now I got quail eggs in there I'm turning the light on for this, so. right now I got quail eggs inside but I did just turn a bunch of chicken eggs um, about three weeks ago oops. about three weeks ago that's some of the chicks all the rest of them are uh, outside in another little piece that I have. But anyways, um, so I'm building another one plus two more lockdowns uh, because I just incubate in this one. And then after the, uh, what is it, the 17th day for chickens, 14th day for quail, blase, blase, um, you don't turn them anymore. So I move them over to this side. And on this side... Uh, there, it's just a shelf and I put those um, put the eggs inside of those baskets uh, with the carpet at the bottom these ones that's already used I need to clean I need to wash them and clean that's the chicken feed from this coop up here but anyway uh, so I just put the eggs in there I got shelves I stack them up inside of here and just let the temperature stay right, the humidity stay right, and don't touch them for three days. Even as chicks are hatching, I don't even touch them. I just let them stay in there until the third day, until all of them are done hatching. Um, but that works That works great. It works perfect. The only problem was um, those are too high. I should probably cut them shorter. I need to cut them down. They're uh, six inches high. They need to be four inches high. And this chicken wire is too big. The uh, baby chickens got out of here especially the bantams and I, I know it won't work for quail so um, what you need is the uh, half inch wire which is this stuff right here you need to use that not that use that oh, but anyways so back to the incubator um, like I said this incubator uh, it, it shuts on the power and shuts off its power with that little gadget right there. I got it off of eBay for like 12, 14 bucks. And then you see I got a light switch right here. Turn the light on and off. I don't know if you can see it. I got a garage door open, so you probably can't see it. But anywho, uh, then I, this, then I have another switch for the fans. If you listen. You might, I don't know if you can hear it, but the fan cuts on and off. There's a fan here in this door, and then there's a fan at the bottom inside the incubator uh, in the back. I'll show you more of that more detailed. Uh, this used to control my turner right here. I used to have to come out uh, five times a day and turn it up and then turn it down. Uh, turn it up, and five hours later, I come turn it down. But now, this right here controls that and I do not have to do anything um, I just set the time I put the eggs in there bam I'm good to go uh, for 21 days well 17 days and I'm straight if I'm turning chicken eggs uh, but I'll turn it manually so you can see it turn let me uh, I think this one is down so I need to go up and uh, put turn that on you see him turning. Boom! It hit a limit switch. It's a limit switch on the inside that uh, disconnected the power. And all I used was a drill motor to uh, turn that incubator, turn those uh, shelves. And I'm getting more detail on that on the next video because I'm building another one now. So I'm trying to remember to take step-by-step -step, uh, videos and pictures 
to show you how this works. But let me drop that back down. And you can watch it go down. Bam. It hit the other limit, limit switch. So for the for the turner, all you need is a drill motor, um, a long threaded rod, a bolt, uh, a digital timer. I use, well, I like digital timers because you can set them for one minute intervals. Um, two relay switches and two dual dual relay switches, and uh, I use a little battery because this is DC powered. The ti the timers. Uh, the turner, not timer, but the turner is DC powered. So you need DC powered uh, timer and a DC powered um, two limit switches. Now this same this same setup right here with the timers, limit switches, and batteries, and drill motor, and threaded rod, that same concept can be used to make automatic uh, chicken door opener open and close at uh, in the morning and close at night but uh, let me show you what I got started here um, I should have showed you how I started it but this is just a regular side by side refrigerator like this one all I did was gut everything out of it um, and I'm gonna scrap whatever I don't use and get some of my money back for making it but this is relatively cheap uh, so all I did was take the doors off and um, cut a hole in it the uh, square, a little bit smaller than my glass, and I just silicone the glass in. Here is one that I did, which I don't like this one because, which I need, I, I'm still working on this one, it's still dirty, I don't clean it until the end. But uh, this is one I did, and, well this don't show you neither how I did it. Let me, let me grab this one right here. This is, this one ain't gonna show you neither because I already put the phone back. But anyways, this just show you how I just I just cut a square in the door, and then sit it sit that glass down inside. I siliconed it. I just used clear silicone, and I, I'm gonna do another door so I'll show you a better uh, a step by step on how to do this. It's real simple though. Um, but I just silicone that in. And then let it sit for a few days and let it let it dry before you hang it back up. After I gut it, then I took the fan from the bottom of this freezer and I set it facing the wall. Okay, it's only about four or five inches from the wall. That's how you want to set this fan to the bottom. Trust me, I put this fan turn every way facing the front facing uh, up and facing down neither direction worked as best as facing the door because my temperatures was not run I mean was not uh, even inside of the uh, refrigerator um, this is a burner eye okay that's all this is ladies and gentlemen um, inside of my lockdown over here uh, there's a burner eye, so it does work. I've tried this already inside of this inside of this incubator. It is a uh, It's a space heater a small um, air uh, air blowing space heater uh, and That's like 15 bucks at Walmart. You don't need that You can find a scrap old stove You take the take one of the heating elements from the burner and you take the same connection and uh you run it, you run the, uh, your power to this through the switch. You take the switch off too. You'll see right here on this one, on my lockdown, that's exactly what I did right here. Now, I didn't clean this. I need to clean it. It looks disgusting, especially now I'm showing this video over. That, that stove that I used was just greasy. I mean, those people never cleaned, obviously. But uh, And then the same... The same uh, Temperature control, which I got off of um, eBay, like I said, 15 bucks. Some switches I took off of another thing for the light and fan, and uh, there she go. And like I say, refrigerator, I mean, fan came from this 
refrigerator. I got this refrigerator and all these freezers and refrigerators. You see, I got two more outside. I got them off of Craigslist. I put an ad on that. I uh, had a project going and I'll come pick them up for free. And I end up with uh, five refrigerators. So, um, that you can do the same thing in your town, your city. Uh, burner I set for a stove, same thing. Just put, it, put an ad for a stove and just take all the uh, parts you need off of it. You get them for free. Um, and then scrap the rest of it. Make a little change off of your gas money. Go pick it up or the other little pieces that you have to buy for this. Now, uh, I'm going to make another video once I uh, get further along in it. The next thing I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to make put my, uh, my brackets here along the wall in order to uh, put my shelves on to turn. And I'll show you that. I'm planning on showing you how to make the shelves and everything. So... Uh, I'll do my best not to forget about you as I'm building this. Until later, thanks for watching.